Hey everyone, this is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me. Welcome to the first reading vlog of 2021. So, in case you don't know guys, the two persons that I'm going to feature in this reading vlog are the people that I really consider as my best friends in the book community. They are my co-hosts in my first ever book club, which is The Tree Host and I just really love these two people so much. So just to highlight them on this channel, I thought of doing this reading vlog. I will try to read their most favorite books or books that they highly recommend on their channel from their videos. The first one that I am going to feature in this video is of course the reason why I created my booktube. Um, he really inspired me back in 2020. That person Alam kung kilala niyo na rin to. It's Gerald from Gerald the Bookworm. And I'm going to read two books from his highly recommended list in 2020. The first one that I have in here is Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. Um, I don't know anything about this book. And then the second book is North of Happy by Addy Al said. So he is definitely the reason why I bought this book and I'm just really so excited to read this. Anyway, so these are the two books that I'm going to read for Gerald and we will see which ones will I like or which ones I will not like that much. But I have doubts about it because Gerald and I have similar reading taste when it comes to contemporary. I think but we will try to prove it in this books so the second person that I'm going to feature in here is also one of my closest friends and I consider as a best friend in book community this person just inspired me so much I admire her and her work and her personality she is amazing and that is Trish from Trisha paper and you guys if you've seen like the videos the aesthetic of the tree host for branding this year it's all credits to Trish, every video, logo, everything that we put out, all of those were created by Trish, so hands down talaga. So I'm going to read one favorite book of hers in 2019 and one book that I've heard from her in a video in 2020 because she hasn't done her wrap of her 2020 yet. So hindi ko pa alam ko yung favorite books niya from last year. But I think this one book that I chose for 2020 will be included in that list. So the one that I'm talking about is Educated by Tara Westover. Trish and I, I think we have similar taste when it comes to hard-hitting novels. Next one that I have here that I got from a recommendation of Trish is one book that I'm currently reading. And this is the reason why I thought of doing this reading vlog because I am body reading this with some of my bookish friends. The book is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr and I'm just really so excited for this book. This is a historical fiction. This is one genre that Trish and I also have similarities in. These are the two books that I'm going to read for Trish. So ito yung medyo heavy sa listahan ko ngayon. But I think these two books that I will read from Gerald will complement these two. Hopefully, I am not even sure about it. So yeah, I'm just so excited to read this and... We'll see, we'll see, okay? Let's do this. Let's read this book. Bye. <laughs> see you later. Hey everyone! Today is the second day of this reading vlog. I need half face lang ako kasi ang haggard ko. So yeah, I'm just going to update you with my reading progress with all the lights we can see. Um, I'm already in here. It's the fourth part. I really find the writing style of this book really captivating. But maybe the reason why I'm not being attached to the story so much or to the characters either is because the chapters or like these are the parts but the chapters are really short. I really thought that I like chapters like this, like this short, like two to three pages. But then I realized na. I actually didn't like it. <laughs> but anyway, I made myself a coffee. Ikutsara pa. 
but this one is a brewed coffee the coffee grounds i bought this from the literary culture or the lit culture um, on instagram so go ahead and check her page i'm gonna put it on the description box anyway that's it i'm gonna stop babbling and see you later <laughs> Hey everyone, so hungered. I'm hungered. Go shit. So this is going to be my last update for today because it's almost 12 midnight and I just finished part five of All the Light We Cannot See and um, I'm going to stop there at this point because that's the only required reading for the book discussion on Friday. So before I sleep tonight, I thought of reading North of Happy by Addie Alsed, I think. I'm gonna read it and then tomorrow I'll update you. But for now, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Guys, I was listening to the audiobook and the correct pronunciation is Addie Al Said. Yeah, I'm correcting myself. I think the author is um, a person of color. I'm going to check that out. But yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, good morning. <laughs> I look like a mess because I literally just woke up. Last night, um, I finished this book, North of Happy by Adi Al Said, and um, I really loved it. So, since I'm done with that, and also we've done with the book discussion for this book naman last night with my friends, um, I'm going to continue reading the rest of it. I'm just going to go downstairs, get myself some coffee and breakfast, and I'm gonna finish this book. Hey everybody, so um, I'm just going to update you. I'm sorry for how I look. I had to pause reading because Gerald actually uploaded his best books of 2020. And then, I am so so happy because the two books that I bought for this reading vlog for him are included in his best books of 2020. And I'm just so happy to know it. Like, oh, I've been waiting for Gerald and Trish to upload their best books of 2020 list. Ayon, I'm just happy. I don't know why I'm happy. But right now, I'm prepare lang ako. Aalis kami. So yeah, see you later. Bye! So, nasa mawa na kami guys kaso we're um, hurrying up kasi kanina pa kami na ante ni Doel na nakakasira ka ah. <laughs> Hi Doel <laughs> Baliw Hi! I'm with Doel da Hello! Siyempre nasa Pulibu ka Ano yung mag- Ano yung mag- Ano yung mag-expect ninyo? everyone so it's been a while since i vlogged today is saturday it's january 16th and i am going to resume this reading vlog so i have a few updates for you i've already finished this book which is north of happy by adi al-saeed and then um from the last time 
hindi ko yata kayo nasabihin kung natapos ko tong book na to, pero natapos ko siya last week. And this is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Door. My thoughts and my wrap-up for these two books um, by the end of this video na lang. Anyway, so, I'm going to continue with the last two books for this one. Originally, ito talaga yung plano kong basahin para dun sa isang book recommended by Trish. Kaya lang, meron akong naisip na ibang video that will feature this book. So, I want to set this aside for a little bit. Anyway, dahil tinanggal ko nga yung educated, um, I rewatch some old videos of Trish. I found this book, which is one of her most favorite books of 2018. Sabi niya, this book is really sad and I feel like I will like it and this book is See You in the Cosmos by Jack Cheng. I'm so so excited and yeah it's middle grade I'm sure I'm gonna like it I think <laughs> so anyway for the other book that I have yet to read for this reading vlog it's Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King and yeah so this is a recommendation from Gerald and I'm going to read this one first tonight so that's all the update. I'm so sorry for like talking too much. Right now, I'm going to have some coffee, start reading this book, and let's see. Hello everybody. Um so I haven't taken a bath yet. So I hope that you forgive how I look, but I'm reading this very subtle, very silent earlier. I got to this part na dito na banda, where there is something that is being revealed in the story. Oh my god. Let's do this. Hey guys good morning so today is monday i just took a bath i'm going to finish this book today last night i tried to finish it but i wasn't able to because inantok na talaga ako hindi na talaga kaya ng mata ko kagabi and sobrang konti na lang ng natirang pages like 50 pages left look Oh my god. So, I'm so so excited to finish this book. I just want to say that my first AS King book is such such a chef's kiss. I have no regrets. This book is just amazing. This book is just oh my god, I can't I have no words. Anyway, I'm going to give you my full thoughts about it, my full review on the wrap up part of this video, but uh gusto ko lang sabihin na I love it. But anyway, let's go. I'm out. Bye. See you later. Everybody, I'm just going to update you with my progress. I am done with this book. Oh my gosh. I just finished it like a few minutes ago and oh, oh my goodness. I love this book so much. I am moving on to the last book for this reading vlog and that is See You in the Cosmos by Jack Chang. I'm going to try to finish this until tomorrow 
but I can't just commit myself because I have a lot of work to do. Pero hopefully tonight, makatapos ako kahit hanggang page 100. That's the goal. Kasi medyo maiksi lang din naman siya. Mga 300 pages lang din. So yeah, let's see and I'm gonna update you later. Bye! Everybody. So, here I am. I'm going to wrap up this whole reading vlog and tell you my quick thoughts about what I think of all the books that I have read. So anyway, I'm going to give you first a quick overview of what the book is all about. Second are things that I really liked and then third are things that kind of didn't work for me. So the first one that I have finished for this reading vlog is North of Happy by Adi Al Said. And this one was recommended again by Gerald. Um, I'm going to put the links of his videos wherein he mentioned or he recommended this book. So anyway, this one is a young adult new adult contemporary it follows this mexican named carlos and carlos and he has a very privileged life and because of that nakaset na talaga yung path or career niya by his parents but if he's going to be honest with himself he would like to be a chef or to be a cook or to build a restaurant or whatever and also in the story carlos has a brother and that brother suddenly died in an accident this one has everything that i want in contemporary it's very light but at the same time there is an exploration of grief and finding your passion and finding your like your own path i really love how unique the story has been told because there are like recipes of mexican food every start of the chapter so ayan parang katulad nito ayan and sa totoo lang nakakagutom basahin to kasi ang daming food references there are a lot of description of food in totality i really liked the writing style this is my first adi al said book and definitely not going to be my last um, i really love all the mexican food references i love the characters there's like newfound family trope in here i like the romance it's not too much for me um the romance is not the focal point of the plot which is really amazing in my opinion and as I've said earlier one thing that I really commend about this one is it takes grief in a different perspective like the longing the missing of Carlos to his brother it's kind of funny but sad at the same time and I don't know how to explain that but I really enjoyed this book and I really thank Gerald for introducing this book to me the next book that I have finished for this reading vlog is this one um, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dover. This came from Trish Recommendation. But this one, if you don't know yet, this is a historical fiction. It follows these two main characters, Marie Laure, who is a blind girl from Paris, France. The second character is Werner, who is from Germany. So, by the way, this is set in France and Germany during the World War II. I have so much expectations about this book because I know that a lot of people really loved it. And just because Trish really loved this book but first off what I really loved about this one is the writing style like I really think that this book has one of the most beautiful writing style that I have ever read like it's very poetic the way that the words flow in this book is just so good secondly i love the characters in this book i really love marie lore especially she's like my favorite character in the whole story she's such a beautiful precious child and she doesn't deserve any of the shit that happened in this book but unfortunately i also have some issues about it first is i didn't really like how the timeline and the chapters were cut off very quickly um i felt like 
parang napuputol yung intensity while I was reading it. Hindi ko siya ma-feel ng tuluyan kasi nga paputol-putol yung chapters and then kapag naputol, it went into a different timeline or into a different perspective or a POV. So parang hindi ko siya ganun ma-appreciate because of that. Second thing that I was really disappointed is how the plot went. Like, I like slow burn books, but to some extent. This one is just dragging for me. I don't know, perhaps that's just my experience with this book. And yeah, so <laughs> I don't know how to explain it anymore. I have a full review of this book on my Goodreads account. So if you are interested to know more about it, I'm going to put the link on the description box as usual. Third book that I finished for this reading vlog is, oh my goodness, I really love this book. I'm so excited to share it with you. That book is Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. And this one, oh my gosh, I love this book so much. Like, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gushing. Anyway, so this book is a YA contemporary with magical realism because this story follows Sarah who is a 16 year old girl and Sarah suddenly wake up one day um, thinking na ayaw na niyang mag aral because it doesn't really make sense parang it will not matter anyway so instead of going to school she just went to different places every day and during those times she will meet three versions of herself the first one is a 10-year-old Sarah, second is a 23-year-old Sarah, and third is a 40-year-old Sarah. This book is so much more. I can't believe how brilliant, how creative, how unique the writing style of A.S. King is. This is my first A.S. King book, and again, this will not be the last. First thing that I really loved about this book, as I've mentioned, is the writing style. It's very experimental, unconventional, it's very unique, it's creative. This is in a first-person narrative, so habang nagugulan si Sarah sa buhay niya, nagugulan ka rin kasama niya. So, ganun yung nangyayari. Secondly, I love the, oh my gosh, how this book interest me from the beginning of the page until the end. Secondly, I really love the characters in this book, especially Sarah and her mom. I just I just want to protect them and take care of them. That's how I was attached in the story. By the way, I have some trigger and content warning for this book. I'm going to put it on the description box as well as all the trigger and content warnings of all the books that I have read for this reading vlog. But anyway, I really love this book. And I can think of one thing that I didn't like because I felt like I love everything about it. Sobrang pinagpapawisan ako dito so magmandali na po tayo. Ano? Last book for this reading vlog, this one. Okay, this is also a new favorite of mine. I love this book so much. The book that I'm talking about is See You in the Cosmos by Jack Cheng. Oh my gosh, I love this book. Among all the books that I've mentioned here, this is the book that made me cry. So this one is a middle grade contemporary. We follow this 11-year-old kid named Alex Petrowski. And Alex has a dog named Carl Sagan. Ayan sila sa cover. And this is treated in a very unique and creative way as well. It was like a narrative of every recording Alex has done in his iPod. So, parang ganyan yung makikita ninyo. So, parang new recording, 20, tapos ilang minutes and ilang seconds, and then you will get your narrative right there. Alex is going on a road trip. He's going on an adventure kasi gusto niyang pumunta into this event. But, there's no one to be with him because number one, his dad died eight years ago. Secondly, his mom is going through something so she was neglectful. Third is, yung kuya niya is nasa ibang state because his brother is working. And siya lang talaga yung nagtitake care sa sarili niya, si Alex. And he is a very independent and responsible kid. He cooks his own food. He goes to school. Um, he takes care of his dog. So, this book just really took me by surprise. I went into this one thinking that this is just a regular middle grade book that probably will make me sad because Trish, oh by the way, this was recommended by Trish. This is one of her favorite books of 2018 and she said in that review that this book just made her cry and made her sad and 
I felt the same. I felt the same. Like, I... Okay. I love Alex Petrosky. Like, I would take a bullet for this kid. I would protect this kid from all the harm in the world. I just love his character so much. I... Mm, things that I love about this book. Writing style. It's unique. It's compelling. It's engaging. It's atmospheric. Secondly, it really sounds like this is for middle grade and I can see a middle grade reading this book. Thirdly, I love all the characters. There's also like a newfound family trope in here. I feel like I was going on an adventure because of this book and I read it for like a couple of days, probably two days because that's how much I love the story and that's how much I am attached to the characters. So yeah, again, just like the previous book, I don't know a thing that I didn't like about this book. Alright, so these are all the books that I have read for this reading vlog. Okay, I'm sorry. So, these are all the books. And I just noticed that it was blue pala siya and white. I just really enjoyed doing this video. Um, I'm going to rank these books according to which ones I love the most and then the least favorite probably you already know that this is my least favorite of them all because the experience wasn't as fun as i expected it to be so this is not a bad book just that it disappointed me so much and that is all the light we cannot see and then up on the list is north of happy i really like this book and this two just made it so hard for me. So, sasabihin ko na lang na tayo sila sa number one spot. And these are the two books. These are my most favorite reads for this reading vlog. I love them equally. I would probably read them again in the future. And I will pick other books by these authors because they surprised me. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I am very happy because this book is recommended by Gerald and this book is recommended by Trish. And I just want to say I want to dedicate this whole video for Trish and Gerald. So I'm just really thankful for the friendship that we have in the tree host and I know that everything happens for a reason, like creating this book club. Our book club is just no accident in 2020, and I just love it. And by the way, if you are not informed yet, we have the Trios live show on the 31st of this month. Hopefully, I'll upload it before 31, ano? And we're going to discuss Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. Um, it's going to be on Gerald's channel. And we are very excited to see you on the live show because we have a lot of things to announce. And I'm just very, very excited because this is a new year for Trios. By the way, I'm going to put their links on the description box, like their Instagram, Twitter, YouTube channel, whatever they promote. Yeah, everything is there. Go check them out. If you haven't subscribed to any of them, go ahead. Do it. Please go, go, go. So that's it for this video. I've been talking for so long. It's so freaking hot. I'm gonna go now. I hope that you are safe. You are healthy wherever you are. And just remember, the world is yours for the reading. Bye and see you on the next one. See you on February for my next secret year. <laughs>